Today's a short show about short people. I mean the little people. Leprechauns. They be after your pot of gold? No, the president's pot of gold. According to legend, the pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. Have you ever tried to get to the end of a rainbow? Not possible. Three years trying and it's not possible. It's St. Patrick's Day, so we're all focused on things that are green, come in fours, or are of substandard height. That's why they're called the little people. Not little like little people, but lit little people. I don't know, I've never seen one. Have you? First, the four-leaf clover. They're actually three-leafed. It's called Trifolium repens, or white clover, and it's the shamrock you're familiar with. Only about one out of every 10,000 plants produces the genetic variation that causes it to have four leaves. One out of 10,000, it's better odds than the lottery. While a four-leaf clover might not make you more lucky for having found one, you're definitely lucky for having found one. Yeah. Why green? Because it's St. Patrick's Day, and St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland, or the Emerald Isle. And emeralds are green. It's all connected. In Chicago, they even dye the whole river green. Wow. But that brings back that line from The Fugitive where they ask, if they can dye it green on St. Patrick's Day, why don't they dye it blue the rest of the year? Good question. I'll tell you why, they haven't found the pot of gold to pay for it. Chasing the end of refracted light. It's like running around in circles. Giant polarized circles. And finally, the little people. The leprechaun is actually a very minor character in Celtic mythology. I know some of you pronounce it Celtic, but I don't. Celtic, Celtic, Schmeltic. The little people don't even pronounce it right. So what made the little people big? What makes everything big? Walt Disney and Sean Connery. It's the dynamic duo. In 1959, the movie Darby O'Gill and the Little People brought the leprechauns to the big screen. This is what catapulted the leprechaun to its present day fame and fortune. This is also the point at which Sean Connery and the Walt Disney Corporation diverged permanently. That movie was a disaster. If you watch the making of Darby O'Gill, you'll find out just how much Sean Connery regretted that career decision. I can't believe I said yes. He was obviously into more mature roles like James Bond. More chicks and less singing. Perhaps I appeal to a maternal instinct. That's it. That's all you need to know. Mutant Plants, Anglican Saints, and Sean Connery. Lovely party. Pity I wasn't invited.